Social security benefit increase for monthly checks. Yes, we are talking about social security, SSI, SSDI, VA, retirement beneficiaries. Today, we have some exciting information to share with you regarding social security and SSDI benefits. Today, I'll be breaking down all the details and projections so you can understand how much exactly monthly benefits can you expect in your monthly checks as a social security, SSI, SSDI, retirement beneficiaries. But before we start, guys, make sure to subscribe to our channel channel if you haven't yet already take a moment and turn on all the bell notification and subscribe and it's totally free to do so and make sure to hit that like i keep you up to date on all the latest news all the updates and without further ado let's jump right into it all right guys now let's talk about some social security benefit projections in my recent video i discussed new projections on social security beneficiaries how much potential increase in their monthly benefits that you can expect today in this video i wanted to provide you with some real numbers and wanted to explain how this translates into actual dollar amounts in your monthly checks all right so let's get right into it now first of all let me clarify that these projections are based on the real inflation data which has been a major factor in recent years i know inflation isn't our friend but bear with us guys we'll be breaking down all the projections all right now in the year 2023 we have received whopping 8.7 percent cost of living adjustment increase which has been quite favorable for many beneficiaries however guys let's focus on to the projections for the upcoming years now we need to understand the numbers first of all we need to understand the numbers i wanted to emphasize that actual benefit amount vary for each and every individuals according to their situation the allocated benefits but this is the illustration purpose and i'll be using some round figures to give you a general idea what you can expect in your monthly checks keep in mind that all these numbers are hypothetical examples and may not match your specific situation but that will give you general good idea idea how much benefit can you expect all right so let's crunch some numbers and let's see what's the projected cola for the next year 2024 now as per the latest announcement latest inflation number that we got the cost of living adjustment cola figures for the next year is around 3.2 percent now let's see how much it would impact your monthly benefits in a real dollar to dollar values well let's see how 3.2 percent would impact your monthly checks in a practical example all right now let's crunch some numbers all right guys so let's begin with the monthly benefit of 600 dollars now here is the thing guys we are talking about social security ssdi va retirement beneficiaries all right guys so let's begin with 600 dollar per month benefit now remember so this is the first chart in the second chart i'll be going into the more depth how much total amount of benefits you would be receiving all right so first let's begin with 600 dollar per month somebody receiving 600 dollar on a monthly basis applying potential 3.2 percent cola increase you see $19 increases per month. Somebody receiving $700 would see $22 increase. Somebody receiving $800 would see $25. Somebody receiving $900 would see $28 increase. While somebody receiving $1,000 would see $1,032 increase. Now, this is the half part of the equation because you know what? Additionally, the increase in the Medicare Part B premium is suggesting 4.5% increase. So that would be $7 cuts with the Medicare care part b premium so if you calculate those benefits well somebody receiving 500 dollars would see 16 dollar increase with cola assuming seven dollar decrease it will be nine dollar increase after medicare reduction somebody receiving 600 dollar would see 19 dollar increase and after medicare part b reduction it will be 12 dollars increase somebody receiving 700 dollar would see 22 dollars increase with cola after a seven dollar medicare part b reduction it would be 15 dollars 40 cents somebody receiving eight $800 per month would see $25 3.2% cola increase and then after $7 part B premium reduction it would be $18.60 then somebody receiving $900 would see $28.80 after 3.2% cost of living adjustment and with reducing $7 Medicare part B premium it would be $21.80 somebody receiving $1000 would see $32 increase assuming $7 decrease with the Medicare part B it would be $25 ultimate increase now here is the thing how much exact amount are you going 
going to receive let me show you well after deducting your medicare part b premium so somebody receiving currently 500 dollar would see 509 dollar in their monthly payments somebody receiving 600 dollars would see 612 dollar 20 cents somebody receiving 700 dollar would see 715 dollars 40 cents and if you currently receive 800 dollar on a monthly basis then you will see 818 dollar 60 cents somebody receiving 900 dollar would see 921 dollars 80 cents while somebody receiving 1000 dollar would see 1025 dollar after medicare part b reduction and 3.2 percent cola increase so here is the thing guys it's like a seesaw medicare part b is the significant elephant in the room medicare part b premiums while the cola increases increases your social security benefits it's essential to consider how much Medicare Part B premiums can also impact your net income. Currently, the Medicare Part B stands at $164.90 per month. However, the recent projections suggest 4.5% increase into the premiums. So if that were to occur, the premium would raise $7 or thereabout, reaching to about $172 per month. Unfortunately, guys, the Medicare must be deducted from your social security benefits. So although your benefits may increase, due to cola they might partially offset due to higher medicare cost while cola increases could be substantial however guys taking out the medicare part b premium it would be totaling to a very little amount of raise even the modest raises can make a difference in your financial situation so this is something that government must think about if you take in account 3.2 percent cost of living adjustment for ssi so to calculate 3.2 percent of 914 dollars will multiply this figure and here we got $29 that's your monthly benefit increase now to calculate the new benefit amount that you'll be going to receive we'll need to add this figure in your monthly checks and that comes at around $943.25 now of course if you take in account a yearly benefit increase for $29 that comes down to about $348 which is a quite a significant amount of increase now I want your opinion guys do let me know what you think about it whether $943 is enough as an increase if you take in account 3.2% cost of living adjustment for SSI married couples then we are talking about $1,371 as their maximum average benefits. So calculating 3.2% COLA, we need to multiply this figure and we get increase of about $44. And the new benefit comes at around $1,414 for SSI married couples. Now another aspect to consider if you are receiving SNAP benefits or any other assistance tied to income, the increase to your social security benefits may have repercussions when your income rises even due to a cola increase your snap benefits might be reduced accordingly this means that although your social security benefit might be slightly higher overall your financial situation may not improve very significantly now this is unfortunate reality and overlooked so it can be a little bit frustrating to see your benefits effectively cancelled out by reducing the snap benefits or any other assistance program my job is to provide you with the most accurate information the most relevant information to manage your financial so you can make informed decision about it in conclusion guys while cola increases may increase for some social security beneficiaries it may offer some relief to the recipient the impact of the medicare part b premiums and reductions in the assistance program can entirely diminish the overall effect of the increases so it's crucial to understand the factors so you can get a clear picture of how much monthly income you can expect i hope you found this breakdown very useful and provided you with a valuable insight and complexities with this benefit programs i hope you found this video helpful if that is the case make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video